Hey YouTube, I'm going to show you how to replace a coil pack on a V12 S600. Now forgive me if I mumble a little bit throughout the video. I've been working hard today. Um, but I'm going to try and show you any way to try and save you time in case you're doing any kind of work um, on the spark plugs or the coil pack. Um, I'm going to show you real quick how to replace it. Now I already took it out and put it back in and I forgot about showing having the movie so forgive me for that but uh, um, I'm going to give you some good advice that will help you uh, if you're doing the job. So basically this is the coil pack you see it's from here all the way to the end. It's one unit uh, that have in that case it's a V12 means it's got six cylinders in every side um, which create a V uh, v-shape into uh, the crankshaft basically here the coil itself connected you can see the stainless steel tubes inside two of them there are two for every cylinder because there are two spark plugs for every cylinder there is one over this edge and one in the other edge but basically every single one of them got two uh, spark plugs and two uh, stainless steel coils stainless steel I'm sorry stainless steel sleeves that go into the spark plug. Um, this is the rubber that sits on top of the spark plug. It sits exactly like that and then uh, the stainless steel goes inside on this side. To remove that out you have to uh, lubricate it real good because you don't want to mess this one up. This one, each one of them in that case on this car is about $1200 retail. Um, I can probably get them for $600 but um, what they go for if you don't have the sources you'll have to pay about 1200 so what you want to do is lubricate them real good before you get them out and make sure you slowly slowly pry it out first from the left then from the right or from the right and the left slowly slowly pry it out uh, don't take it from one side and yank it out uh, just slowly take your time on that I don't know how long it takes you to make $1200 but if you don't take your time on that you may have to put a new one um, after you took it out then you may still have these plastics that I just showed a second ago this one's right here you may have them sitting like that on the spark plug take some uh, tweezers or something and pull them out they're not very expensive maybe a buck fifty two dollars or something like that but that's uh, just that you know uh, when you put them back in you slide them on the don't try to put that in the coil and push it back in it almost it's not gonna go you have to put them back on the spark plugs and then the coil I took a little uh, lube and I put just on the edges of the coil itself, on the sleeve itself, just to lubricate it a little bit to make it uh, slide smoother. Uh, you don't want to have anything, any too much excessive uh, lubes inside, trapped inside, oh, which reminds me, here is another bolt I forgot to put in. But uh, you don't want to have excessive amount of lube trapped inside the spark plugs. It's going to get the sparks wet and you're going to misfire. Um, but basically that's it. That's as far as putting uh, the coils inside. Um, I don't know if I told you but you have to remove the um, intake manifold. You got to take the intake manifold out to be able to put uh, the coils in. If you're not going to take it out you're not going to be able to have the access to put it back in. So you take the intake manifold out and then um, then you take uh, you take the coils out, replace them if you have to replace spark plugs or you have to uh, replace the coil itself. If you have any questions or comments, don't hesitate to write me down. Um, I'm doing this YouTube to try and help people out, so don't don't hesitate. Don't feel uncomfortable. There is no stupid question. There is a que stupid is a question that not being asked. Um, but any question that you have, um, I'm a Mercedes technician, so I know a whole lot about these cars. Whatever question you have, don't hesitate to uh, write me down a comment or a question or um, I mean, uh, like it or don't like it. And if you don't like it, let me know why so I can uh, help and improve. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoy it. Um, good luck if you're doing this job.